Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will show you the feature Face Locator in the software program Phantomorph. It is not necessary to use a face locator to morph from one face to the other face. However, this program can generate 93 points and in general it will produce a very smooth morph product. Note that this is only available in the deluxe version. Start the program by opening a new project wizard. Choose to create a new project. We choose for morphing. Now we're going to import the images. These images are also available on the CD. Because we're going to crop these images, we choose not to minimize the resolution. Now we're going to import the second picture. The next step will be cropping of the images. To avoid any distortion, we're going for a fixed ratio. 3.4 and in portrait mode. Now we're going to resize the window to the size that we like. Position the crop area. Click OK. We'll do the same with the second image. We go for fixed ratio again in portrait mode. Resize the image. Click OK. Now we can see on the overlay window that the images are not exactly on top of each other. We're going to adjust it. This is done by trial and error. This is better, but I think we need to do one more adjustment. This is what we're looking for. Click on Next. Change the movie length into 75 frames. Skip the effects. Now click on Face Locator. This is the first face. We're going to position the frame of the face the best we can do. Make sure that the eyes are lined up properly. Do the same with the second face. Click on Apply to All. Click on the Play button and we'll see already the result from morphing from the before to the after picture.
If you press F7, you will enlarge the preview window. Now we can see how smooth this morph movie looks like. If we press F5, we'll go back to the complete view again. Let's now export the project. First, we'll export to an AVI movie. Choose a name for this project. For this trial version, the end product will have a watermark trial. It will disappear after you have purchased the full product. An AVI movie will be shown right away in Window Media Player. Let's now export it to a standalone program. With the standalone program, you can change the speed of the replay from slow to fast, and you can auto loop and auto reverse at any time. Now we have exported these images. Let's save the project. This is the end of this tutorial.